while taking pictures of snow with his wife. The killing of 36-year-old Ahmed al Jamai, a new citizen to the U.S., struck a deep chord with those who knew and loved him and members of DFW's Council on American-Islamic Relations. Fox 4 Zahid Arab is at Dallas Police Headquarters tonight. Zahid. Well, Rich, as Dallas police continue to investigate what happened and who's responsible, a group of about 30 North Texans came together tonight to collectively take a stand against violence. There will be silence no more. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter whether you know them or not. It's senseless. By the glow of candlelight, members of DFW's Council on American Islamic Relations and even strangers stand shoulder to shoulder with the family of Ahmed al Jumaili. A 36 year old, young, vibrant, healthy, loving man who came to this country not three weeks ago in order to live a happy, prosperous life with his bride. To help others see injustice anywhere is a threat to people everywhere. This man came here for the American dream, and here he is, he's losing his life over something so, so dumb, you know? Together in 10 minutes of silence, they pray for the Iraq native who left the country for a better life, only to be shot and killed Wednesday outside his apartment while taking snow pictures with family. It's an injury to us all. Just because I'm not Muslim doesn't mean that they wouldn't attack me. Just yesterday, Dallas police detectives released this surveillance video from a nearby school they believe show four suspects in the murder. Within the first 20 seconds, the first suspect runs by carrying what appears to be a rifle, followed by another suspect. 20 seconds later, two more people walk by. Their identities are unknown. While police haven't said which school the video is from, Adelia Creek Elementary is just beyond the back end of the apartment complex where the 36-year-old was killed. It shows a similar vantage point, also with a bike rack and trees in view. We know we should live together in harmony. We should live together in peace. Individual flames appear only as a flicker, but organizers say together is the only way to defy darkness. What matters is that Ahmed is no longer here. Ahmed's life was stolen from him, and we have to remember that, and we have to come together as a community to silence this violence. Ahmed al Jabali's family chose not to speak tonight, but rather pray in silence for peace. Now, members of the local Muslim community believe there has to be a witness or someone with information out there somewhere. Dallas police say to call Crime Stoppers or Detective Montenegro directly at 214-671-3624. Rich? Zahid, what's the latest on the investigation? Have any leads or tips come in since that surveillance video of possible suspects was was released on Saturday. Well, despite extensive news coverage, Dow's police say nothing has really come in. We know detectives are looking at this as a possible hate crime, but the victim's family tells me Al Jumaili was his death was an accident. They believe it was a matter of being at the wrong place at the wrong time. Rich Zahid Arab at Dallas Police Headquarters tonight. Thank you, sir. A young mother and her two boys were killed when a wrong-way driver slammed into them head-on. 